No, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. We're so close. It's like literally like millimeters, okay guys? Um, what's that? Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. I'm back with another try on haul, your favorite. In today's video, I'm going to be trying more Korean fashion. So this will be my part two. Now in my first video, I thought I was buying from Korean fashion brands, but it turned out that I was just buying Korean fashion style clothing. And so in this video, I made sure to only buy from legit Korean fashion brands. Fingers crossed that it will be better quality and that the fit will be better. So let's dive into it. Oh, this is a black top. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually kind of like shiny. So this is from Daba Girl and this is their scarf neck silky blouse. I like this top because it looked really elegant and kind of like a classic look on the model. The only thing is like with most of the items in this haul, it was like one size. So um, yeah, fingers crossed that it fits me. Oh my god, I hope this one fits. Do you guys remember the good old minus five kilo jeans? It's the semi baggy fit minus five kilo jeans it was a gamble with this one they only had like small available and i was like oh am i gonna go and take that risk again but seeing that it's gonna be like a sort of like loose fit i think this could work out Future Tina here, sorry to interrupt the haul, but I wanted to let you guys know that I'll be doing a giveaway this episode. If you guys didn't know, I have a brand Petite Cosmetics and we sell cruelty-free lashes. And I want to give away four $100 vouchers that you guys can spend on PetiteCosmetics.com. We've got lots of different eyelash designs for all different occasions, whether you like more of a natural light lash, perfect for everyday wear, or if you want something more classic, we have the 3D Luxe range. This is our most popular range. And then if you want something with a little bit more length and volume, we've got the Luxe Faux Mink Lashes. I'm actually wearing one today. This one is honey. If you want a chance to win one of those vouchers, all you need to do is continue watching this try on haul and let me know which outfit you like the best. Leave it in the comments section. Also, if you want to try any eyelashes from Petite Cosmetics, I'm giving all my viewers 20% off with the code TRYON20. I'll leave the links and details for you guys in the description box. Anyways, back to the try on haul. This top is really itchy. It's that like organza material. Is that how you say it? Organza? Organza? That's very Aussie. And then it has this like scarf thing. That was like the main feature of this blouse. I don't know, I feel like I'm going like to work or something. I've got like some corporate gig. Hey, this is like Lady Boss Tina. What do we think guys? This is very different to my other hauls, you know? It's really conservative. It is like a very loose flowy type of blouse and with many blouses, you need to kind of tuck it in to give yourself a bit of shape. I think I just look like there's a, like just a lot of stuff here so what if i wear it like another way i think there's a shot of the model and she just has it at the front as well am i wearing it the wrong way oh like this yeah then it drags down <laughs> oh yeah okay alfred what are you a fashion stylist have you been watching project runway without me i just feel like a very very serious business person like i'm going to pitch and like get some investors to buy petite cosmetics or something. Okay guys, <laughs> moment of truth. Minus five kilo jeans, loose fit in a small. Oh my God, it's going up. It's going up. It fits. No, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, we're so close. It's like literally like millimeters, okay guys? It's good, it's good. Oh my God. Minus five kilo jeans actually fit today. If I had a belt, it'd look exactly like the photo with the model in it. The length is really good on me. I'm pretty sure this is probably supposed to be like a cropped leg on most people, but it works as a full length for me. And I know I said it was like supposed to be a little bit loose, but it's quite fitted for me. And I don't mind it. It's not like skinny jeans. There is a little bit of room to move and wiggle around. I'm so glad that I gave the minus five kilo jeans a go again. I just had to find like a different sort of fit and I didn't have to size up. Cool, cool, I'm a cool girl, I'm cool jeans. Oh, I'm walking, I'm walking like the model. Alfred said that I look very, very Korean right now. Do I look like a K-drama star? Oppa! Don't 
to say yo. I also got a, a pair of denim shorts. This is like a super skinny short so i got a size medium i got these because the length wasn't like too short that you can kind of see your like bum cheek at the back so um i think this one would look good just for like a casual everyday look this top is from the same brand too and it is a long sleeve ribbed top with a like an off the shoulder cut uh, it's quite a thin knit and so i feel like it'd probably be good just for when it's like not super cold outside it's never cold in singapore so that'll be fine oh oh medium is so much better that was like easy breezy beautiful nice five kilo jeans so the shorts they're a great fit i really like the length of them and it has this like folded up hem here i've learned to buy shorts with this sort of like a cuffed leg because when you buy like the fray ones they just keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter and they tend to curl up as well after you wash them so you need to iron them down and so i like shorts like this the fit is great to be honest and then with the top it's really comfortable it's that ribbed material which which I don't mind and the color is like just like a nice soft yellow I think both items look pretty true to the photos on the website oh and just to let you guys know I'm usually like a size small in like Western sizes so like the top is one size but it is like a little bit stretchy I think if you're a medium you can definitely wear this if you're larger I think this one size business isn't probably gonna work out and yeah the shorts I got a medium and they're a really good fit oh wow this feels like a blanket. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is literally like a blanket material. It feels like a teddy bear. So this is like a puffy sleeve faux fur mini dress. It looks quite big actually. I thought puffy sleeves are in and most of the puffy sleeves like tops or dresses that I have, they usually have a pattern. So this one kind of was a little bit different. It has like, it's just solid black and it's quite fluffy. Oh so nice so the model wearing that dress had boots on and i felt like that's what kind of made her outfit look cool so i got black boots this is my first time playing buying shoes on here these shoes are quite expensive too so these are the boots that i got they have like a toe a toe of course they have a toe part they have a square toe front and then a little bit of a heel at the back not too high i actually thought they'd be a little bit higher like longer if you know what i mean <laughs> this feels so nice on why is it so short <laughs> i didn't expect the length to be this short it looks even shorter because it's quite of like a wide dress it looks like i'm just wearing like this like a top really this is like that baby doll sort of design you know with puffy sleeves and the the very flared out dress or the cut oh <gasps> There's pockets! The designer has thought about this. When you put your hands in, there's actually that fur material just on the underside. So then when you feel it, it feels really nice and soft. Does it look amazing? No, but it feels pretty good. Wait, wait, wait. The boots. The boots will make this a look. I kind of feel like I'm a big teddy bear. Uh -huh. The boots are a little bit stiff, but that is generally what happens when you buy a new pair of shoes. Sometimes you have to kind of break them in a little bit. The boots do sort of like complete the look a little bit, but like from the side, I look pregnant. Like this, this is going to be my pregnancy dress. When I'm pregnant, I'll, I could wear this dress out and like, I could eat a buffet. I could smuggle something through this. It's comfortable because it's like a square toe, so it doesn't like jam my toes, if you know what I mean. The only thing is I kind of wish maybe they were a little bit longer. I think it'd be nice if they like went a little bit higher because right now all i can see are my like weird knees knees are so weird like what is that <laughs> this is how short it is if i have my hands up you can't see anything close this is like a close Very call close. okay i definitely have to wear shorts with this this is not the prettiest little black dress but it is like the most comfortable little black dress I've ever put on. I don't like how it looks on me, but I really like how it feels. Like, come hug me. Doesn't it feel so nice? It's just, why did you sniff it? It needs to be washed. That's it. A... Okay, it, it may smell a little bit like a factory. Okay, put your, put your hand in my pockets. Put your hand in my pockets. 
Oh, I'm conflicted. I will keep this one. This one, this one feels good. You know what I mean? Feels good. Next, we have a dress from Deepney. This one, I thought it looked more white on the model, but um, yeah, this is more of like a yellowy cream color. So the design of this is supposed to kind of look like in, it's in two pieces, so like a skirt, and it kind of looks like there's a separate top, but it's actually all in one. Ooh, this looks good once it's steamed. I wasn't feeling the color too much because it's like more of like a creamy yellow, but I think the style's really nice. Wow, it is really cute. Like when I held it up, it didn't look that great, but now that I have it on and it's all like steamed, I actually really like it. The skirt's really nice. I like the sort of like draping and the little sort of like frilly part. I mean, it's stretchy, but then it retracts. So you get all those like that movement in the material. The top section is also really comfortable as well. The arms are a little bit, tiny, tiny bit long for me. That's not an issue. I usually like kind of roll it up anyway. This was also a one size thing. So I'm actually really happy that it fits me and it kind of fits me pretty well. Around the waist here, it is actually stretchy. There's elastic at the back, so there's still room. The back part is is quite short though. Can pull it down, but eventually it'll like ride up again. So I think it's just something you gotta take note throughout the day. But yeah, I actually really like this. It's my bag. It's a big bag. I don't have a cup, guys, but this will do. I feel like a waiter. Can I get you anything? <laughs> yes. Okay. This one is from Lip Hop. It's a corset top that's ribbed and oh, it's one size. So I really hope that I can fit into this. It has a really nice sort of like design and it looked really nice on the model. The rib material is actually quite thick. It feels really, really sturdy. There is stretch, but not like, it's not super stretchy. So I got this one because it is a trend to have that like retro, like more patterny pants. I don't know if I can pull it off. So these ones are flared pants, but the material is really thin. It's so, so thin, but I do like the pattern. Like I've done like nail art designs with this pattern. Oh, I don't know about this one, guys. My arm feels very restricted. I can't even get there. I need a team of people to help me put this on. If I let go, it might actually like pop this top button. Maybe do the bottom one. Do the mm. bottom. Yeah, but no, no, I mean, continue doing it. Just don't. Oh, it's like a corset. It, it is a corset. It's a corset top. top. Oh, it's a corset, okay. This is a full part. <laughs> Holy crap, what are those? Should I take my bra off? Or is it too late? <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. Boobs are suffocating. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, I, I have to take like small, short breaths. I, I can't even take a long breath because I think this thing's gonna pop. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have an asthma attack or something, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I got I'm like, <gasps> everyone remain calm. <laughs> I need to breathe. I can't deal with this. The reflection is just too real. I, I don't know what to say. Wait, can we look at the photo of the model for a sec? I mean, that model is gonna be like super, super skinny. The style of the top is accurate. How it sits on me compared to the model, it's way off. Can you guys just see, this is where my underwire is. My whole boob is the actual length of the top. It's like there's boobs on top of my boobs. I'm very compressed. This is a corset top, it is really sucking everything in. I think I need to try this without my bra. Oh, oh my God. It's the only size. <laughs> wow, that's a view. Why don't you push your boobs up? Up. <laughs> as high as so okay. you can sit like. Sky high. Okay, go. Go, go. I'll hold them up. Back then, I don't know how girls would wear corsets. Like, that's why they need someone to dress them. Does that look better? Little bit, yes. A little bit. Um, what's that? The underwire. We forced my boobs in so hard that the underwire popped out. Even without a bra, it doesn't really... <laughs> what was that? that was my earring. My earring just 
popped off. Where's the back of it? Please stand by. Where's my earring? Anyways, I'm back, lost my earring, but that's okay. Yeah, it doesn't really change this, the position of my boob. Can't really do much with this one. If you have, I think anything, even like a B cup, I think you're gonna struggle with this top. I can't cross my hands. It might rip. The pants are really cute. The material is really thin and I think I've like stretched it out to the max to get into these the length is really good for me but like i'm wearing my feeler shoes so they do add like a little bit of height but yeah like they kind of just like i don't think they they touch the floor i feel like i wore these sort of pants when i was I don't know, 12 13 flares were pretty in back then i actually really like these they're really cute so this one i just got literally for the lols it's a dress from a Korean fashion brand called Uzone. I don't know about this brand because if you look at the photos of the model, it is heavily photoshopped. Like, you can tell. You don't even need an eye for detail to tell that it's photoshopped. I did like the dress itself. I was just like wondering why did this brand have to like photoshop their dresses so much? And so I wanted to see what it looked on my body compared to the model's body. Wow. Okay. I'm actually surprised because it looks really pretty on. I like that it's got the, the sheer arms and I like the rouging. This neckline, it's just more like a square cut. I feel like, you know, if you don't want to show like cleavage, you can't even pull that up. It's also really comfortable to wear and like I can move around in it. I don't feel like restricted at all. I don't understand why this brand had to go out of their way to like Photoshop every single image of the model. I'm sure she has a beautiful body naturally, but like what they've done looks a little bit like freaky. You know what I mean? She doesn't look normal, almost like alien-like. So here you guys can see the comparison of what it looks like on me unphotoshopped and what it looks like on her. This might be the first time I'm gonna say this on my try on hauls, but I think I look better than the model. Alfred, what do you think of this? It's actually really pretty. I like it. Cute. Cute. Oh yes, with boots, with white boots. Look how cute it is, guys. We have a denim play suit. This one is belted. I don't know, every time I see denim play suits, I'm like, yes, I shall give that a go. I just love the idea of a really nice fitted denim play suit. The material is very, very thin. At the back, you can kind of see this is the belt. It doesn't actually come off. It's actually sewn onto the play suit. This one, it's looking loose, but we need to do the belt up. So let's judge it after that. There's two buckles and you just like tighten it. Oh, there you go. We have some shape now. Okay, maybe I did too much. So my button's going to pop. Undo, undo, undo. So the sleeves have an elastic bit here. So you can kind of like... I guess adjust it a little bit. It is like a puffy sleeve style. I think it's cute. It's comfortable. It's, it's nice for like casual everyday sort of wear. Are these pockets? Yes, there's pockets. <laughs> Look at my butt though. What's with this butt? I have a big, big booty. Oh my God, that is my butt. The pleats at the back definitely accentuates the shape of my bum. You kind of see it in the side. It looks like I'm doing this. But I'm not. It's just like me standing straight, but it kind of like juts out. It gives me a little bit more booty. I think this is like an okay one. I like this one. I, I think like more so for comfort. The only part that feels a little bit restrictive is just the arms because of that elastic. But this, you know, I like this because after like you eat, you can kind of just like slowly like loosen it up. Maybe at the start of the day, you could have it like super tight, super fitted. And then when you need a little bit of room for that, yummy dinner or lunch you can kind of loosen it up this is another one from you zone i actually thought it was a one-piece dress but you know it makes sense now because it's like a you tie it around the stomach so then the skirt part comes separate and you kind of like tie it together oh looking at it the color is very very similar to my skin tone am i gonna look naked in this okay so the top is very, very short, but it's got the strings for me to tie. So maybe if I tie it tight enough, we'll pull it down. And I'm just going off with what the model did. I think she just crisscrossed it. Oh my God, I think I might even rip this fabric. It's very thin. Okay, once it's all tied, it looks like this. 
at least this part stays down now and it covers my bra it's just a really sheer material but actually I don't really like mind how it looks like from a distance it actually looks quite nice I think it's just more like the comfort thing once these are tied I don't know if you can tell but the strings kind of like dig into my belly so it really like presses onto it I think if it was like made in a better material it would fit better it would sit better and you wouldn't be able to see through it. In the picture of the model, you can see where her like strings start and it's all the way like up here and it creates like a big cross. Whereas mine is just like a mini X marks this spot. Oh, get me out of this sausage. This one is a satin strappy dress from Chu. Um, it has that sort of like silky satiny material. So it's a little bit shiny and I like the color. You guys know that I love like green. This sort of sage green is really nice as well. Got to rouge this in. Oh, I think once it's done up, it's pretty cute. So you can kind of like adjust this part and like how sort of like rouge you want it. And then also the, the straps are adjustable. Hey. Oh, it's just so comfortable. I don't have to worry about like sucking my stomach in to look like flat or anything. I can just let everything hang loose and it still looks good. It kind of reminds me of like that Princess Polly design though. The length, it's like a mini skirt, but it's not like super short. I like this dress, yes. The material is like a thicker sort of satin as well. It doesn't feel like the really thin ones. One thing I need to say about this dress is that it is like loose up top as well. I think cause you know, it's a one size. So they try to like make it a range of sizes that could wear this. For me, I know it's like extra loose around here but i think because like you can adjust the rouging it kind of works still almost just feels like i'm wearing a nightgown to bed a fancier one. Oh gosh so this one i got like a trench coat from dabba girl in the photo it looked like a really nice material but in real life i mean it feels like felt you know when you do like art and crafts in primary school and you cut out like little shapes and animals out of felt this is exactly that same material it doesn't feel very nice and it comes with like three straps oh these must be for the arms and then that's the waist one what is that smell it smells like fart. Oh, the smell, man, the smell. I'm so glad you guys can't smell this right now. Uh, I'm trying not to sneeze, it's just like so irritating. Maybe on camera it will look nice because in the photo, it looks like a really nice style trench coat and the material really ruins it. The actual material is felt like, it's like a weird material. It actually feels like someone made this at a craft store. I want to give you guys an up close to see like how the fabric looks like. It's not even like finished off with like a seam or anything. And the ones that are like sewed, it's just like, it's very cheap. Like I just don't really get the material for this and how it was sewn together. The actual pattern is nice. I think if it was more fitted and obviously they chose a better material, then yeah, like it would totally like be my jam. I would totally vibe with it. I'm just so sad about this piece because like out of everything, I felt like this was a, like a for sure hit. Okay, I need to take this off because it stanks. <coughs> that smell is going to linger. We need to like, we need to throw this in a box. Okay, we've come to the end of this try on haul. I think I did a better job with this second haul than the first. Though with Korean fashion brands, the prices are like more expensive than obviously the cheaper sort of Korean fashion copycats. The only thing is that the sizing is very, very limited. Like, I don't know, maybe they're just lazy and they just wanted to say like one size and that's for everyone. But realistically, I think it's more like for an extra small to medium. I don't think it's really inclusive when it comes to sizing. So I think that's a big downfall for Korean fashion brands. But yeah, overall, I think I'm really happy with, um, you know, finding this piece. I feel like a baby gorilla, baby King Kong in this. That is it to this try on haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Watch my other try on hauls here. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Oh my God, did I just flash you guys? I'm so sorry. Subscribe, bye. Ba-dum-bum, doo-doo, 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 ba-dum-bum, doo-doo, 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 ba-dum-bum, doo-doo.